Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today, I've got a rather large haul for you. Um, I was recently contacted by the lovely team over at Cherries and yeah, they offered me the opportunity to review their app. And um, so, you know, true transparency, everything in this haul is gifted. Um, and yeah, they, I'd never heard of them, I've got to be completely honest, I'd never heard of them before, uh, but basically if you like Home Bargains, if you like Poundland, if you like a B&M haul, this is right up your street um, and you don't have to go outside to do it. Uh, literally, I ordered all of this Friday after work on the comfort of my sofa and it was with me by courier um, delivery before lunchtime on Tuesday so win um, so all the good stuff of uh, your bargain stores but online uh, also the lovely people over at Cherries are, are happy to offer you guys 20% off um, I will put links and codes and things below I just want to jump in because it is oh, a rather giant box and um, I haven't looked at anything. I've taken like I've ripped the tape so I can get in for ease for video purposes. Um, but I just want to get in and have a look, really. So oh, there we go. Rather cute cherry themed tissue paper, and then some wrapping paper and tissue paper. Darwin is on the move. Yeah. Oh. I'm just gonna pull it out and show you because it's all kind of a little hickledy pickledy. First thing I've got is a jewel sharpener. Um, you know how most people lose bobbles and um, bobby pins, Kirby Crips, whatever you call them, um, and socks. I lose pencil sharpeners. I must purchase one of these at least once a month. <laughs> Um, yeah, I lose them. They come to my house to disappear. So yeah, I picked myself up one of these just for like lip liners and things. So I've got one of those. Um, hello Darwin. Darwin is having a sniff of the box. Uh, they have... Sorry guys, I'm going to start again because of dog drama. So they have a lot of Easter goodies on the website and um, I may have picked up a couple of cheeky Easter eggs. So. Maltesers, well, we know I like the bunny rabbits, and then a dairy milk one, yum. Um, oh, I've always wanted one of these. Um, the box has come a little bit wrapped, a little bit ripped, but um, I've always wanted one of these. It's one of those um, head massagers. So I've got Gilly behind me frantically licking himself. He's got a little cut on his foot. Um, he's fine, we just have to keep an eye on him. Uh, but yeah, it's one of those, like, head massager things. I've always wanted one. Somebody once told me these help with hair growth. Now, this just says it's relaxing, easy to use, no snags or tangles or scratches. But I did read somewhere once that if you regularly, like, rub your scalp, it stimulates growth. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. Just sharing the random things I know. Uh, more Easter chocolate. Um, I've got some Galaxy Enchanted Eggs. <laughs> I like chocolate. I was obviously hungry when I placed my haul. Oh, this. Oh, Darwin, do you think that's for you? Do you think that's for you, Bubba? It's a little dog tool, tool, tool toy. So yeah, it goes in that vinyl toy with squeaker. What did you think of that, Gil? What do you think, Darwin? I have got two of these. Oh yeah, there we go. So I've got two, one for each puppy. Oh, hang on. That's upside down, I think. Oh no, I'm not sure. So we've got some lips and a smiley face. I got two because they, they had one of each type and I just thought they were fun. To be honest, this is more a Darwin thing than Gilly. He, not, not, not that bothered with toys, but Darwin loves squeaky things. Well, Darwin loves all toys, to be fair, so I thought these were really fun. It's got one each for the puppy dogs. 
Oh, it wouldn't be a bargain haul without one of these. Um, so I got a Domestos um, Ocean Five Power Lou thing. These sometimes can be quite expensive. I think we were in Sainsbury's the other day and they were like four quid and you can quite regularly get them for a pound in places like B&M's and, and uh, Home Bargain and stuff. And I was like, who is shopping where they're paying four pounds for these? It's just crazy. But yeah, love those. I got myself some um, of these Vivid Clean and Scrub pads. Um, they are the minky shape, not going to lie. You can get things like this from the range. Um, they sell ones, you know, where it's the cloth on one side and the scrubby on one side. Um, most of them are pretty good. Like, I like a minky, don't we all? But when the hinge thing first hit and you couldn't get a minky for love and the money, unless you were paying like 18 quid on, on uh, eBay for them, um, I tried a lot of these and I like them. I think it's a very good shape. Like, it's very clever shape for, for cleaning. It fits nicely, even with my man hands but yeah i've got some of those um oh <laughs> oh no it's gonna have to wait for a bit what's next oh the boxes are a little bit battered not gonna lie but to be fair that could have been john uh, <laughs> i got this delivered to john's work if you don't know john has a post office so it's a lot easier for us to have like delivery drivers and, and parcels delivered to him um, rather than me. Um, and he did kind of say, he did kind of put it in the car a little heavy handedly, but the box is fine. It's not leaking. So Suflora, we all like it. Bouquet, bo bouquet, I can't speak. Bouquet and I think Springtime are my favourite non-Christmas ones. You can't find Springtime for love no money. Like anywhere and to the point where i saw i think it was at the weekend or the other day even like mrs hinch was on insta story saying that she can't get springtime now if the woman who is basically sponsored by sephora can't get a scent what hope are the rest of us got but I say okay and springtime are my two favorites so i was really happy that they had that so obviously it will get used here oh i need a drink sugar-free squash between this and lime cordial it is a winner at the moment it is truly helping with the uh nausea that i'm dealing with <sighs> hello first trimester um i picked myself up this derma v10 clay mask with ch charcoal which apparently is detoxifying it's 50 ml which lasts up to 100 applications um now if you watch our vlogs you do you'll probably know that john quite likes to do these with me oh that's a big pup um so i like buying these a lot i'm gonna smell it that one is not for you brother um oh it smells okay it smells good oh and it's against animal testing which is always a win but yeah i love face masks and i say ones like this um help for the uh, problem at t-zone area because you know i'm closer to 40 than teenage years but i'm still getting the occasional teenage spot which is so unfair um but yeah like that yeah couldn't help myself it was kind of like in a way i was like don't just buy all the chocolate but then they had malteser bunnies and i was like i need the chocolate so yeah easter bunnies um what else what else oh oh now this one if you can see him little gilly beach won't be happy with this um this is deodorizing doggy spray with aloe vera tea tree for fresh fragrance ideal way to keep your pet smelling fresh between baths um now i did read the yeah da -da -da -da. So yes, you don't have to like dry them or anything. You can just spritz, spritz them um, and it keeps them smelling fresh. Now, Darwin doesn't need anything like this. He's short, furred and very, very clean. Um, Gilly has got that little bit of a longer fur on him. And um, 
he's not as well groomed as Darwin. He he kind of you know when you see dogs and there's two type of dogs in the world: the dog that walks around the puddle and the dog that rolls in it. And Darwin would walk around and Gilly would do a full roll in the puddle. So, but he hates the bath. Um, <laughs> hate is a strong term. He doesn't enjoy it. He'd do it. He'd like he wouldn't try and bite or growl or anything. He's more likely to whimper. Um, but if this can save him from putting up with that, then we're going to give it a go. And I quite like the aloe vera tea tree scent. Sometimes you can get these and they're like candy cane fragrance. And I'm like, I don't want my dog to smell like drumsticks. <laughs> Does that make sense? So I thought that was good. Next thing, again, these are for Easter. Um, if you follow the vlog channel, you'll know that um, I do like to do buffet on Easter. We do a full Polish breakfast uh, at Easter as well. Um, and I just thought these would be fun for that purpose. Um, so it's shaped paper plates, egg shaped. Um, they are recyclable, so win. But yeah, I just thought they were super cute. And then I have, these are plastic. So they will get put away at the end of Easter with my um easter decor if you know <laughs> uh we decorate for easter in our house um same as we do for christmas and valentine's and, and halloween that's who we are or who i am and john puts up with it um so yeah these can be used again and again year after year i thought they were really fun they did have another i think they also had green maybe i've got i've got a feeling they had other colors but these were the ones i was drawn to again for uh buffet purposes uh, what else oh I've got more food oh okay so well there's original sugar-free um granddad butter candies um if you don't know you probably do if you're watching this but i'm currently pregnant i'm in my first trimester i'm being very lucky with sickness but nausea is, is something I'm dealing with from the moment I open my eyes to the moment I close them. And sugar-free things like this um, and, and, and drinking a lot of sugar-free squash is kind of being able... <laughs> it's the only thing, like, making me able to go to work because <sighs> it's just hideous. But yeah, this and the squash is getting me through the day. Next thing I've got, oh, nothing to do with <laughs> uh, what I just said. So Johnson baby powder, um, yeah, I use this for chub rub, not going to lie. Um, obviously, I used to be a lot bigger girl, but I am still a plus size person. Um, and baby powder is what I use for chub rub. If you don't know what chub rub is, you're very lucky. Just putting it out there. <laughs> Uh, next, oh, not gonna lie, this is a little bit smaller than I thought it was going to be. Um, so, but I got a little, little sign, and it says, time to drink Prosecco and dance on the table. I just thought that was cute. Obviously, there's no alcohol for me for a while, but it made me think of a friend, so that's going to be gifted to somebody. It's cute. Next thing, there's a lot of stuff in this box. Um, next thing I've got, oh. I saw this and was intrigued. Uh, fast acting microwave steam cleaner removes stubborn food stains, grime, killing germs and bacteria. Works in two minutes. Simply wipe clean. Now, I like this kind of thing. It's same as I've got the same, those like um, ones for the washing machine and things. I like this kind of thing and it always intrigues me. Um, is it going to be as good as it says? So yeah, pick that up, give it a try. Uh, oh, I've got one, two, the head of one, so, um, oh, hang on, one without a hat, oh, so, oh no, they twist, twist in, I think, or is that one broken? They sent me a broken one? Let's see, hang on. Oh, 
Oh no, you have to be able to take it off because you've got there's a switch to turn them on and off. So it must come off. There must be a way of twisting it on. Ah, fixed it. So I ordered, there we go, there's the bottom, four of these to go in our front garden. They don't, things like this don't last very long in the back garden because Gilly doesn't like them. He tries to attack them, like dig them out of the garden. He doesn't, like, he doesn't touch the pots and we've got gnomes in our garden, which he's not bothered by, but he just doesn't like this kind of light thing in the back. But we've put them in the front garden. We've already got some out there, um, but I thought they were bigger. So I thought maybe they'd look a bit better. So yeah, I've got four of those. I know like all those styling magazines and things says you should buy things in threes, but I bought four. Uh, next thing I've got is some original source hand wash in the coconut, which I love. Buy it all the time. So yeah, I've picked myself up one of those. This is a long haul. Um, this is <laughs> such a blessing. There's actually a two pack here. I don't think you can see. Um, maybe if I go like that, you can see it's a two pack. Oh, and the fact that it says two pack. These are for the microwave. Um, it's one of those microwave plate cover of things. So like when you're cooking beans or warming up soup or something, it doesn't splatter over the top. Um, very recently, John cracked our one. So I needed one. And by magic, they had them on the website. So, sorry, on the app. So I grabbed that. Um, oh, more chocolate. I was clearly hungry. Um, oh, this is wrapped. What are you wrapped? It's like Christmas. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's a good size. Now, don't tell John, candle ban. Um, I can't shop without buying candles. You guys know that. So this is from the Candle Factory in, in it's a trio scent, three different individual scents to burn up 32 hours. Um, and the scents are Coconut Beach, Coastal Mist and Frost Frozen Glacier. That's a good size. I'm quite sure this was like three quid. That is a good size candle. Oh, that smells like holidays. It's a mixture of, it's like, I want to say it's a mixture of coconut and like sea salt and I have quite a few like sea salt candles I really like that smell but that's good that's good I mean I'm sure it was like three pound for that candle happy happy days <laughs> so funny um oh there's more chocolate galaxy eggs <laughs> Easter well practically but yeah um okay another wrapped parcel what is it Darwin you smell it literally I only ordered this on Friday and it's just like intriguing oh okay so I ordered a Pam Aroma Wax Melt the packaging again has sadly become a little bit battered um but it's vanilla and coconut well, that was quite cute um i must admit i'm not the biggest wax melt person now nobody hate me because i know like the entire of instagram is obsessed with wax melts i am much more a candle girl i do i do love love me a candle um but i was kind of intrigued and thought well yeah let's let's, let's oh let's give it a go there and then I've got another wrapped one I love the fact that it's brown paper because again you can recycle it so no loads of plastic it's another candle oh happy days so this is an espresso martini which I'm hoping John will love because that's actually his favorite um if he was going to have a cocktail, that's what John would have. Oh, that smells like, that smells like we, I, I have like, um, 
have a Yankee candle that smells very similar to that. That's lush. That is so nice. Again, burns up for 32 hours. I'm really sure that these were like three quid each. It is a weighty one. That would be a great present for somebody. Oh, happy. Um, we're almost at the bottom. Uh, next thing I'm pulling out is just some bubbles. These are the like, those ones. Um, they don't cause tears in your hair or something. Um, Coloured hair bubbles. I sleep in these every night to kind of pineapple my hair. So I've got some of those. I got myself a cheeky, cheeky little bath fizzer. Um, so this is a fruity fizzer in watermelon. It smells like watermelon. But yeah, I got myself one of those. I love watermelon. It's such an amazing summer scent. I think this is the last. Oh no, I've got two more. Or oh, penultimate item. Um, it's a little bit grown up, it might seem boring to some, but I got myself a new loaf tin. <laughs> I make banana bread probably once a fortnight, every time I'm off, like, because I work every other Saturday, so if it's my weekend off, I'm pretty much guaranteed to make banana bread, uh, sometimes with chocolate chips, sometimes with walnuts in, and uh, yeah, me and John normally eat it the day it's made, because it's how we are. Um, but my one from scr scrubbing it too hard, some of the, um, like, the coating had come off the pan, which then meant when you were cooking with it, you had to use a pan liner, which I don't particularly like. Um, so yeah, I got a new one of those. And then the last thing is a Barry M Matte Me Up Lip Kit, and it's a matte liquid lip paint and lip liner in the shade Hun. They did have quite a bit of makeup. They had like eyeshadow palettes on there um, and they had a few different ones from this brand. It is a nudey nudey pink. Barry M stuff is always very packaged so I won't make you see it for me to swatch this but yeah um, it's kind of like a nudey pinky colour. But we all know Barry M is nice products and yeah that is everything out of this giant box. I've been chatting for like 28 minutes. Hopefully I have condensed that slightly for you. But yes, I will link the um, discount code and the app all below. If you wanna check it out, do so, I say. Delivery was super quick. There is some awesome stuff on that website. I say, if you like Home Bargains, Poundland, B&Ms, this is the app for you, because you can do it in your jammies without having that elbow fight on a Sunday morning. We've been there. We've all been in home bargains on a Sunday, trying to get to something. <laughs> you can do this in your pajamas on your sofa. So yeah, uh, I wanna say a big thank you to the, the team over at Cherries for giving me the opportunity to review this stuff. Uh, and yeah, thanks for watching guys. Uh, I'll talk to you in the next one.